Welcome. No. That's live. Nice. Three, two. Live from the studios of Coefficient Media in downtown Jackson, Michigan. Today's show is brought to you by Jacksonopolis. Lane. Welcome to the Android Tech Show, episode number 69. Ooh. That's right. This week is a review of the Droid 4. This is the Android Tech Show. Every week we bring you the latest news in Android-based technology. To join the conversation and watch live, visit theandroidtechshow.com. Now, let's start the show. Welcome to the show, everyone. This is the Android Tech Show, and we've got some tech for you this week, uh, and we've got a little update. Look at this, Lane. Yeah, this is crazy. We've got new telephones here. I know. Mm. Oh my gosh, don't cross the cords. Um, this one no. almost looks like the old modem phone. Yeah, this is my... Pick up and put on the, uh... Oh, totally. <laughs> These are my mom's. These are both my mom's. No, this is my mom's, and this was my grandma's. This was before they were high-tech back in the day. They still got the weird phone numbers on them. No area... Oh, that one has an area code. Yeah, no cues. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> it's not just the phones that are different. We're in a different yeah. studio, and we have actual, like... Different microphones on. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The uh, whoa, the whoa, little careful. bitty careful ones, there. right? Careful. Yeah. And we've got producers. We actually have two highly talented video producers in the back there. Let's go to the producer cam. Oh, All look right. at that! There, they got the crazy cam back there. <laughs> I think it's like night vision or something. Yeah. Well, not quite. But I wanted to get a night vision. Yeah. Because that would just look more creepy. Well, the camera does night vision. Oh. We're just we should totally switch so next time night vision mode. We just have to More make it creepy. really dark. And yeah. then their eyes would glow and then like, no. Uh, that would be cool. And we need to get them a microphone too. So they can, like a, like a microphone on the desk there so they can be like, well actually guys, technically I just looked it up on the internet. Yes. Because um, we do need a lot of correcting. <laughs> oh, they could be our fact checkers. Yeah. Because they don't have no. anything else to do. They have nothing, yeah, they have nothing else to do. <laughs> other than try and make us look good. Which yeah. is working, I must say. I don't know. Yeah. We still got a little bit of work on you there, Lane. Oh, uh, well, this week. Manny Petty. <clears throat> Wait, oh, yes. My, you like the leg, right? I guess leave it in the comments. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I got a cool. lot of leg in the overall shot. Anyway. Uh, this week, we're doing a review of the Motorola Droid 4. Mm -hmm. uh, this bad boy is made by Motorola, like all the droids are. Uh, Droid. Yeah, it's like the uh, the branding. Well, I guess uh, the Droid Incredible and the Droid Charge are made by mm -hmm. other companies, HTC and Samsung. But uh, the main droids are just mm -hmm. Motorola. So, yeah, I don't know what to uh, say about this phone. It looks a lot like the Droid Razor we just reviewed. It does. But, but with one very important distinction, a it has sweetness. a physical keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go down some specs here. This has a 540 by 960 QHD pentile display. What? Ugh. Pentile. So gross. Uh, this pentile display, I don't know how well it's showing up on the camera. Probably not good. Uh, but when there you get is. in real close to it, uh, we've talked about this before. There is something about the way that these pixels are stacked that makes nothing look clear. It doesn't matter how high the resolution is, uh, mm -hmm. which this is an equivalent to a retina display on an iPhone. Wow. Uh, but it just looks crummy. Mm -hmm. So there's got to be something to that uh, pixel density technology that Apple's been working on for that new iPad. Yeah, like the multi-layer, whatever, whatever. Yeah. I think it's just the, the, I mean, things are designed in a square pixel format, and um, if, you, if you break that format, then it just doesn't, there you go. It doesn't <laughs> really work very well. So. Yeah, I, I think I agree with that. Uh, but this is a four-inch screen, so a little bit smaller than an Evo, which uh, you know weighs in at 4.3 inches. But it's equivalent to a lot of the uh, Samsung phones that have been coming out. This is the Nexus S 4G, uh, very similar to a lot of the Galaxy S phones. Uh, also a four-inch screen. So, uh, but this has a 1.2 gigahertz dual-core TI processor, uh, which is one of my favorites. I've said this before. And I really mean it. It is a lot better than the Tegra 2 processor. Uh, it comes with one gig of RAM, 
which will come in handy because this phone has been slated to upgrade to Android 4.0, uh, though it, it does come with Android 2.3. Uh, within the next month or two, uh, Verizon and Motorola have both confirmed uh, this is actually going to be receiving an upgrade. Uh, speaking of upgrades, this comes with 16 gigs of internal storage. Hmm. So you're not going to have to worry too much about adding an external <laughs> 16 gigs. Thing. Well, you know, if, if, you, if you're like me and you put all your music in uh, Google Music, then you don't have to worry about storing it or, on your device. Or Spotify. Yeah. And you use Stitcher for your podcasts. Yeah. Um, but that's mm -hmm. all it comes with. This actually does not come with an SD card, though it does have a hmm. slot for one. Uh, so if okay. you want to upgrade it, you can add another 32 gigs yeah. of storage on demand and replace it whenever you want with uh, something else. That's cool. Uh, for cameras, it kind of has a crummy camera on the back. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's good for pull it out of your pocket and point and shoot, but you know, uh, for anybody that's real serious about cameras, you're not going to get anything great. The one good thing, though, is it is a 1080p video recorder. Mm. So even if the quality isn't that great... Uh, it's a lot of bad. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of bad. So. You know, whatever. Uh, it, it'll it'll be good to show off to your friends. It has HD and 1080p right on the uh, the back there. Oh wow! So you know you can show it off. Uh, it has a 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera, uh, which is great for not very much, uh, but it <laughs> does all right video chatting. Uh, you're not going to want a, like a super high-res camera anyway for video chatting. Right. So at least not with the current uh, setup that we have uh, available for this. Uh, it does have a micro HDMI out port. You don't have to use hmm. the uh, the new special adapter yeah. kind of crap that they have now where they're combining them. Yeah. Um, and it is on the side. I talked about how similar this is to the Droid Razor. Uh, the Razor has these ports on the top, which really I weird. absolutely hated. Really weird. Uh, these are on the side. I like it a lot more. And when you're using the phone hmm. like this in landscape with your physical keyboard, Makes they're sense. on the bottom so they don't get in the way of yeah. your hand. So, uh, but this is pretty much the main selling point of this phone is the physical keyboard. Yeah. I looked online, uh, some other reviews of the phone hated on it, uh, said that it was horrible, uh, they liked the older ones, mm -hmm. um, but in my own personal opinion, I think that for every iteration of the Droid that comes out, they keep improving the keyboard. Are these ones a little more clicky? Uh, they're, they're very clicky. You know, the older oh, yeah. droid, it felt like they were like a, a just a solid, solid slab yeah. of keys. No, this, there's, when you look at it close, you can see there's a lot of differentiation. Yeah, they're actually between different the pieces keys. of plastic now. Yeah. That's good. Which is, for me, that's the main thing. If you're going to have a physical keyboard, uh, make it feel like a, a physical keyboard. They got a little bit of a bump to each one, too. So you yeah. can kind of just type away. One of the interesting things, I don't know if you noticed on there, oh. it has a freaking caps lock key. It does have yeah, a caps Yeah, because there's lock. not enough caps lock on the internet, right? Yeah, you can't. Yeah. You, you need that. Yeah, so in case you're, you know, out posting YouTube comments on your phone instead caps of at lock. home, you can caps lock so you have your cruise control for awesome. Beautiful. Do it up. Yeah. How is the it. Anything else? Uh, well, it has DL and A, so if you don't want to just do a cable out to your TV, you can stream it out to... I like a lot of the newer Samsung TVs as well. There's a little, oops. Whoa. A lot of TVs have support for DLNA. Not returning that one. Yeah, now we're having like account set up and stuff. I don't know what's going on. Um, but you can stream right out over Wi-Fi uh, to a lot of devices, not just TVs. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you have media that you recorded with your awesome 1080p <laughs> video, you can stream that right over your Wi-Fi. Cool. And of course, uh, being on Verizon, it's mm -hmm. a new device. It is LTE blazing fast. Yeah. So. And it has a kind of a, a good battery on it, too. Yeah, it's uh, a little hefty. Yeah, I mean, it's very hefty, especially if you compare it to the Razer or even the Razer Max. Yeah. So Well, the, what bugged me about it was if you, you can't really see this on here too well, but, like, there's, like, uh, and I think this is just with all physical keyboard ones, there's a, there's a space between the keyboard and the screen, and this one, like, you can actually see air through it. Like, you can see, <laughs> like... It's a drastic little bump up there, which adds like, I mean, soon the iPhone's going to be that thin. It could slide right through there. Nice. It almost feels like you could play a harmonica or something on it. You know? <laughs> Don't try it. That's what it looks like. Yeah. I'm sure that spit in there won't hurt anything. No. Um, it is kind of like weird. Nice... Like you can see a bump right here for the, yeah. uh, the front-facing camera 
Uh, so when you slide, you can see that. But I do like the keyboard snap, though. Yes, it's very nice. I picked that up on my microphone. And cut. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and just to dwell back on this physical keyboard, uh, it actually is based on ambient light. It has a backlight that oh. surrounds each individual key, and it lights up the letter on the key. Awesome. Like an Apple keyboard. Uh, whatever. But this <laughs> uh, but that it actually works with the with the light sensor that's built in for the screen uh -huh. uh, to determine whether to backlight it. I mean, it's not just a dumb. Whenever you press the key, right, yeah. it lights up. It, it knows when it's dark. It's a smart. Yeah. Smart. smart. Yeah, it's just little things like that that always bug me. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, this does not change uh, the volume though. This is my perennial upset thing. When you put the phone in landscape mode the volume key should change to make this way be turn the volume up and this way be turn the volume down. Mm. Uh, I haven't seen a phone do that since the Droid Incredible. Details. Yeah, details are very important, people. Uh, this includes smart actions, just like on the uh, Razer. So that's supposed to save you some battery life, automatically changes some things. Uh, we talked a lot about that in the last review that we had. Uh, essentially, it's, it's some of the things that I honestly think should be included in Android. I mean, Android's a notorious battery hog, and you know there's a lot of discussion on the internet now as to what's causing that. Mm -hmm. uh, but smart actions are definitely going a long way to battle yeah. the battery drain. I mean, are you still happy with the the battery you're getting on the uh, the iPhone four? Um, you know, I did with the five point one upgrade. It actually increased my personal battery usage quite a bit. Yeah. So I'm not. Like, I was getting, there was a point where I was like, okay, this is insane. It's like de dead halfway through the day. <laughs> and then after the upgrade, I don't know if I deleted some apps or something. Oh, and Jay accidentally wiped my phone. <laughs> How did that happen? Apparently, with the iPhone, and this doesn't happen with Android because it's not certified through Microsoft, but they can set up the Exchange server so that if you enter the wrong password in three times, oh, yeah. it wipes your phone. So Jay said, your phone's turning off. And I said, what did you do to my phone? Yeah, a well, a lot of Android phones now come with Exchange support built in. Yeah. Oh, cool. So yeah, you'd get the same thing. Yeah. And uh, nice. <laughs> it wiped my phone. Well, there you go. But the iCloud saved me. Well, I thought your computer synced everything up, too. I never, I have not synced to my computer in six months. Yeah, well, I haven't synced an Android phone to a computer since I've had an Android phone. Well. So. Sorry. The iCloud saved me. That's all I can say. Yeah. It's funny, too, because I, I was switching over my wife to a new phone. And she's mm -hmm. like, oh, you know, what, what do I need to save this? I'm like, oh, you know, well, between Google Contact Sync and yeah. Google Plus, saving all your photos and videos. You're done. Yeah. There's real, not really anything that you need to worry about. That's so cool. It is pretty awesome. So uh, talking about the phone again. Yeah. Uh, it's not a huge screen. No. Four inches does feel kind of small now. Yeah. But still... Which makes this next point almost livable. The wake on-off button. On the top. On the top. Beautiful. Yeah. This is, it's funny because I talk a lot about this kind of stuff with my wife now. You, you hear me bringing it up again. And that's one of her pet peeves. She wants it on the top. Yeah. I like the wake on the side. You do. Uh, but, yeah. This one puts it right in the middle like the, uh, the oh, yeah. OG droid and, you know, the droid X and all that stuff. But I don't like that. I don't like it at all. I've gotten way too used to just uh -huh. using my phone with the finger right there yeah. and waking it up. But that's because I'm a left-hand user. We've gone over that, too. Mm -hmm. Whatever, Dave. See, now I'm just refuting your arguments before you make them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but I think that if you're, if you're on Verizon yeah. and you want a, a droid phone, which a lot of people have a lot of brand recognition with droid phones, yeah. uh, this is definitely the phone for you. It's the next. Yeah, the next it's road. got the physical keyboard. And a lot of people I'm still finding are dependent on a physical keyboard. There, a lot of people have a lot to learn. Yeah, you as an iPhone user don't have any clue what that's like. But I remember when I first got the G1, uh -huh. I was dependent on that. So I have learned to not be able to type. Yeah? <laughs> what do you mean? I am horrible at typing. Oh, yeah. I have so many spelling mistakes and everything. I probably do need a physical keyboard, but I don't know. But Apple won't give one to you, so you don't have to worry about making that choice. I could buy a case that has a keyboard in it. Really? Yeah, they make iPhone cases that have a little slide-out keyboard. That's just ridiculous. It is. 
So if you want to buy this phone, uh, there's a couple ways you can go about it. Yeah. First off, you can get it right from VerizonWireless.com for $199 on a two-year contract. Yep. Or you could go to AmazonWireless.com uh -oh. and pay 50 bucks less. No, 50 bucks less, or is it 49? 150 bucks less. 150 bucks less. It's crazy. Yeah. So, 199 from Verizon or 49 dollars from Amazon Wireless. Yeah. So you know what? you choose. What what? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, maybe it's a walking in the store convenience fee. Yeah, but you're still ordering it online. Yeah. Well, you can probably get it in the store for 199. Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Uh, but this is a, definitely, if you're looking for a physical keyboard, this is the phone for you. Hmm. So that's my recommendation. And that is our show. If you want to keep up with us, find out what we're talking about between these shows, mm -hmm. uh, please check us out on Twitter. The address is twitter.com slash Android Tech Show. Mm -hmm. And we're also on YouTube. We are on YouTube. Uh, if you want to view some more of these videos, uh, you can either subscribe to the podcast or view it right on YouTube. And that's youtube.com slash Android Tech Show. That's right. And if this isn't enough for you, if you think, you know what, there's got to be more podcasts out there oh, yeah. made by cool people like this, there are. Go to blueberry.com without the E's, uh, and you'll find independently produced awesome content. Uh -huh. Blueberry.com. We, we dropped the E's a long time ago. Oh, yeah. Pfft. It's just easier that way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, snap. Okay. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining us in the new studio here. It's looking awesome. Thanks to our producers behind the board there. Yep. Awesome producers. <laughs> we got to get them credits in the, at the, like, we'll do, like, credits at the end of the show. Totally. They'll have credits in there, and, like, we can put them on IMDb yeah. as producers of I'll the award-winning shows. A from... bunch of ridiculous credits, too. Like, yeah, we'll it'll find... just scroll. Yeah, it'll and be, it'll like... be the same names over and over again. Oh. But, you know. Cool. It'll just be a bunch of different functions, right? Totally. What do you guys think, right? Is yeah. it good? It's good. All awesome. Right. Well, I think mics. that's all for this week. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Boom, we did it. Producers off the hook. <laughs>